In this video, we are going to discuss management plans and approved change request flow. And uh, this is going to be kind of a general sort of thing. And in the future, we're going to be having specific videos about each of the knowledge areas, scope, schedule, cost, etc., where you can see the specifics by process name and, and flow of things. But this is kind of a good uh, generic version that goes across all the knowledge areas. So first of all, you know, I commonly get asked in my classes, you know, what exactly is like a scope management plan or a schedule management plan? I mean, I just do that in my head or, or the PMO tells me here's how you do it. And I basically say that that's it. I mean, you know, if you had it in your head and I said document it, then that's a management plan. If the PMO says here's the steps you take and this is what it should look like loosely when you're done, that's a management plan. So if we said the knowledge area is X, you know, that could be scope, schedule, cost, what have you. And, um, and yes, stakeholder is not management, it's engagement. So it would be plan stakeholder engagement, gives me a stakeholder engagement plan. But what's happening here is this is an ITO pattern or an input tool technique output pattern that people commonly miss. So the the whatever management plan, scope management plan in this case, as an example, is telling me how to do process A, B, C, if there's an executing process, in this case with scope there's not, but if there was, it would tell me how to do that, it would tell me how to do any monitoring and controlling, um, and ultimately any closing processes as applicable. So we, we basically would be putting a plan in place with process A, B, and C as it related to that particular topic, then we would potentially be executing it if that's how the framework had played out under the guidance of the respective management plan, like a scope management plan. Uh, and then we would be getting into the monitoring and controlling, meaning we would be validating is, is the, is our, our is, <laughs> are the planning documents that we have created doing what we intend is the executing if applicable process producing what was expected you know and then as a result of that monitoring and controlling in a general uh, context we could potentially create a change request or change request so like control scope control schedule etc could produce a change request or change requests those would go into perform integrated change control which is our only master change control process so every process that creates a change request it comes to perform integrated change control for yes no or we'll see and then as as a result the approved change while it might not specifically be an input to every process under the sun, I want to clarify from a general sense here. An approved change could lead to adjustments in whatever the output of planning process A or B or C is. It could lead to a change in how we're executing uh, whatever process D is, etc. And that, again, that's a general sense. So. If you try to take every ITO in the PMBOK guide and trace it to this, it's not going to get that nitpicky. This is more a uh, high to medium level conceptual thing. So if we look at some of the bullets there, the items for consideration, process outputs and connections are generalized. Generalized. So I'm trying to conceptually plant some seeds there. Not all interaction is shown. Yeah, uh, I might have some implications that it, if you traced with the PMBOK guide itself, we're not going to show up, but philosophically, it's kind of what's happening. And then approved changes go to potentially impacted processes. The X management plan influences how you do the processes in that knowledge area. And then uh, all planning processes other than develop project management plan would potentially be... Um, would potentially be updated by the respective uh, plan X management. So plan, you know, if X if X is scope, 
it's all scope planning processes would be updated or, or work under the guidance of plan scope management. Schedule would be for schedule, cost for cost, etc. So again, this is probably a lot like our, um, our, pro um, our other process flow videos. I would suggest you might play pause, play pause, and kind of digest it, you know, and watch it a few times, let it kind of sink in. Take a few days off, watch it again. You, you probably would see it a little differently than you did to begin with. And uh, somewhere downstream, we're, we, we plan to have some, um, some more detailed examples of this, you know, for the specific knowledge areas themselves, themselves instead of generally. But uh, that'll be downstream as we make our next round of videos. So anyway, that's what we got for you. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and let us know any topics we potentially could create to help you.